Okay, hello everyone. This is the CRT Productions. And uh, the other day, uh, you know, I was thinking I need a replacement for this little RCA pair of rabbit ears. Uh, they're not too great. About the only channel they pick up is channel 3, which is kind of funny. Ironically, the only channel it does pick up is channel 3. Um, so, you know, need a uh, replacement for these. I've seen this antenna at the Dollar Store, Dollar General. Um, actually, I spent actual money on this thinking that it might be decent. And, uh,. I've taken it out of the box. I just kind of repackaged it here, but um, yeah, I'm kind of kind of regretting that choice now. I think I could have gotten a lot better than what I did here. This is by General Electric. Um, I don't know. I don't know what what brand really made that. GE's just something they slap on there to sell it um, easy adjust antenna optimize your free digital channels I'm not sure what the heck that means uh, enhanced HD TV designed for enhanced HD reception it picks up HD channels not standard definition channels so you know you'll be you'll be getting those crystal clear digital channels works with all TV and converter box brands full HD 1080p should have a where available there lifetime warranty in case this antenna which doesn't have any any uh, electronic parts stops working Or at least I assume it doesn't. This one sure don't. So, yeah, that's another reason why I need another one. This one, extend it. It doesn't stay up. It stay up a little ways, but right, right there, it just falls down. Anyway, um. This is a UHF VHF antenna. It says all this on the back again. Picks up HD channels. The ideal con counterpart to streaming digital content. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and open it. I packaged it pretty much how it was packaged originally. It was in this bubble wrap. If I can get it to come out like this. There we go. Just in a layer of bubble wrap. The cord was wrapped up like that. And these, the VHF poles were for some reason in this plastic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what good that was doing. Yeah, like I said, I've already taken this out of the box. You can see the the VHF poles extend out about a foot and a half, maybe, maybe, nah. That's not half a foot. That's about a foot and a quarter, probably. Much less than what this one had. I can't even get it extended all the way here. There we go. You can see right there. Get those right with each other. There you go. So you can imagine what the VHF reception is with these. Uh, it has this plastic UHF loop. It doesn't really pick up UHF that great either. It doesn't pick up anything that great. It's plastic. 
you know, it's just a thin, typical plastic everything's made out of nowadays. Get that one there. Oh yeah, and this is a GE model. 14068. You can pretty much just look up GE General Electric Antenna or whatever. You can find it. I don't know what it costs online, but I paid twelve dollars for this piece of junk. I might be taking this back if I can. And get rid of it. They have a better one at another store, but before this video gets too much longer, I'm going to show you how many channels it picks up. And uh, I'll cut the video right here and show you. One of the things they say you to do with these in indoor antennas is put them near a window. So I'll do that. Uh, got it sitting on top of a speaker, which is on top of a speaker, which is on top of a speaker, which is a video I need to get around to doing. But uh, I'll go ahead and put this on the tripod, and we'll see how many channels we get here with the converter box on the Emerson TV. Zoom in. There we go. Okay. Now we'll turn the TV on, and get it on the right channel. Since I've just got the converter box plugged into the back of it. There we go, okay. Turn the converter box on and we'll do a channel scan. Alright, so if it's not getting channel 3, that must be something terribly wrong. Um, here you get channel 3 so stupidly easy there's got to be something wrong here let me look at this what did I get it wrong antenna RFN get everything plugged in properly and it's not getting channel 3 doesn't bode well for it. Set it back up there and do a channel scan. See what it does. Any other antenna I've ever tried out does just fine. Picking up channel 3 from anywhere in the house. Yeah, I might have to try this somewhere else. No, there it goes. See some channels. Got this really dark. To bump that up a little bit. Okay. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that. I'm working on getting a better camera pretty soon. So, you can look forward to that. This camera can record in HD, but the file sizes are like huge like 20 seconds 20 second or 20 megabytes for a one second video per second it's ridiculous so I recorded 640 640 by 480 11 channels let's see 13 channels let's see how many of those we can actually get a decent picture from about done using this converter box instead of the eye view just because it does a channel scan a little quicker. Alright, what channel we got here? Channel 9. That's not a channel we should be able to get with an indoor antenna. Notice I'm not going to use a booster for this either because probably most people buying this wouldn't. Like if it was just somebody going out to the dollar store and saw it. So channel 9, we're not getting that. Channel 13, probably not going to get that. Nah. Hmm. Almost getting some audio from that. 
Okay, channel 41. Now I gotta say, there is one thing this antenna is good for, is channel 41. I cannot pick up channel 41 for anything with any of the other antennas that I have. Indoor ones anyway. Even our big outdoor antenna with a booster just kind of gets a choppy signal kind of like this from 41. If this antenna can pick up 41 without a booster. Just big hook. Pretty, pretty uh, interesting. Let's see if I can move it around get a better signal. Nope, I guess not. Oh, now we gotta get that now. We gotta get a good chance. It was kind of stressful, and we split up about two. I mean, I was like paying them the south ten ten a day. Oh, shit. I can see why my old antennas yeah. don't pick up Final 41. Like, my, my modern like HD TV antenna can pick up channel 41 just so fine. Yeah, the Another reason why I didn't put the booster on this is because it seems to not make a difference with this antenna. Because you're a loser. Forty five. Mm, about what you expect. Here's this creepy puppet show. Huh? Yep. N sixty six is nothing. So there you go, I get one channel pretty decent. And uh this video is getting really long, so I think I won't really bother. Let me check real quick how it picks up channel fifty analog. There's a slight, slight little picture there. Let's see what we can do about that. A little bit of a picture, aren't you? Oh. Um, I think we can wrap this video up. Uh, don't buy it. If you see this at your dollar store and you're thinking about getting it, don't get it. There's a better one out there, a better looking one anyway, by RCA. RCA. The modern RCA. It's at, I saw it at Family Dollar. This one is at Dollar General. The RCA one looks a little bit better. It's got a directional control. And it's a little bigger, so uh, without any further rambling, I'll end the video. Thanks for watching.